I woke up easy that day. As soon as my mom yelled up the stairs, I was up. I got my clothes, showered, and did my daily morning routine that day. I headed down the stairs into the kitchen where my two sisters and little brother were eating breakfast. They looked at me with the same emotionless gaze as mine, and I nodded as if answering, although they already knew. They had the same dream too. My mom asked us why we were all being so quiet, but we just shook our heads. Later, we started driving to school. Our mother complimented on the three pale yellow holes in the sky. They had been there for weeks. They appeared overnight. They could be seen over the entire planet. Everyone had their theories of what they were. Some thought they were a sign from God. Some thought a hole in the ozone layer. They may have been right, but no one knew. But the children knew what it did. It caused the end. As we drove, we saw children and teenagers all with the same emotionless gaze as us. They all had the dream too. They all knew. I reached school first, as mine was the first stop. I walked from the car and waved to them as they drove off. This would be the last time I would see them. I headed up the path to the yard to the school, waiting to go in. The normal, semi-loud schoolyard was dead quiet. It was cold, but none of us cared. No one said a word, as none needed to be said. We all knew what each other were thinking. As a matter of fact, we knew what every child under 17 was thinking that day. That one part of our mind hasn't been corrupted yet, and let us have the dream. We didn't tell anyone, not our parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, or anyone older than 17. Only we, the children, knew. It was time to go in, and we did just that. We entered in orderly lines for the first time in, well, ever, really. Our teachers stared in amazement as we quietly entered our classrooms and took our seats. We did our work as we were told, although there wasn't really a point to. It wouldn't matter anymore. Nothing mattered. At 11.45 a.m., every student looked at one another. We all nodded in silent agreement, and despite the protests of our teachers, we marched out of the school in unison and into the yard. We stood in silence. Looking up at the sky, nothing had changed yet, but soon, some who cared about each other hugged, and others who loved each other, or if someone had a crush on someone, kissed. To my surprise, I was kissed. I didn't even know his name. I don't think I've ever seen him before. He put on a small, sad smile and held both my hands. I put on the same smile. All of us looked up in near unison at the sky. The three yellow holes blazed. A white light erupted from the center. And soon, everything went white. The shrieks of adults could be heard, but not children. The children weren't scared. The children knew.